Jesus spoke to them at once. Do not be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then he climbed in the boat and the wind stopped. But you notice a couple things before we go home. First of all, I want you to notice that Jesus spoke to the disciples before he spoke to the wind. Now listen, just because we stand up doesn't mean that there ain't good things to hear. Jesus spoke to the disciples before he spoke to the wind. Do you hear that? Do you know how hard it is to talk to somebody in a storm when the wind's howling? Jesus could have said, hold on a second, wind, die down. Now, y'all, it's going to be okay. Instead, he ignored that. He ignored all this and said, hey guys, it's going to be okay. Do you know what that tells me? Why Jesus would ignore the wind and the storm to speak to me? Because the battle had already been won. There's no need in talking to something that doesn't matter when it had already been paid for. He wasn't concerned with the storm. He was concerned with the disciples. I'm not going to be one of those preachers that stand up here and tell you that your storm doesn't matter. But I will tell you this, that Christ cares for you. He's not worried about your disease. He's not worried about your situation. He's worried about you. He doesn't have to speak to the problem. It's already been dealt with 2,000 years ago when he said it is finished. It's already been talked about. Jesus doesn't waste words. He wants you to know, take courage. Would somebody hear that in Jesus' name? Take courage, I'm here. I know the wind is blowing. I know it's harsh. I know it's hurting. I know you're scared. Before I deal with this stuff and it's going to be dealt with, I want to speak to you. It's okay. And worthy is the Lamb of the Son. You're worthy is the King who conquers the grave.